Hey everyone, in this video we are going to deploy a Node.js application to Fly.io in 3 easy steps. Fly.io is a hosting provider very similar to Heroku and it is super easy to deploy an app using their CLI. They have free allowances and if your app doesn't exceed these limits that you see here, you can use their services for free. So open up the application which you want to deploy. If you just want to follow along, here is my simple Node.js application for demonstrating the deployment. I will leave a link to this in the description. The first thing we need to do for deploying our app is to install the FlyCTL, which is a CLI for managing apps on Fly.io. If you are on macOS and you have Brew installed, you can install this CLI via Brew with this command. Otherwise, here is the script that you need to run to install the FlyCTL. For Linux users, use this script in your terminal. And if you are on Windows, you need to run this install script on PowerShell. Let's go ahead and install it from the terminal. And it is successfully installed. The next step is to sign up or log in to Fly.io. If you already have an account, use this command to log in from the terminal. Otherwise, use the sign up command to sign up and log in. I don't have an account yet, so I will use this sign up command here. I will use GitHub for signing up. Once you sign up, it will ask you for card details. Although you can choose to try it for free without providing credit card, it will be required for deploying your app, so it is better to provide a credit card here. It won't charge you at all if you don't exceed their free allowance limits. Step 3 is the deployment. After you signed up and provided card info or logged in if you had an account already, the last step is to deploy your app using the CLI. So let's run this command in our terminal. If you have a docker file, it will automatically detect it. If you don't, it will detect a Node.js application and start the deployment. Next, it asks for an app name. I will leave this empty and it will generate one for me. Choose the region where you want to deploy, whichever is closest to your users. It asks if I want to set up a PostgreSQL database, I will choose no. Would we like to set up a Redis database? No. Would we like to deploy now? Yes. And it starts to build an image, after which it will spin up the container on the server. So it failed on first try for me, with error failed due to unhealthy allocations. If this is also the case for you, what I find out is you have to set your internal port to 8080 because it is also set to 8080 in the fly toml file which is generated by CLI. So update the port to 8080 and run the deploy command again. And this time it is successfully deployed. To verify that it worked, go to your dashboard Select the application that you just deployed and open up the link provided under hostname. And our application is successfully up and running. Also, you might have environmental variables in your code. These can be added here under the secrets tab in your dashboard. That's all it takes to deploy your app to Fly.io. Of course, for more complex apps, it might require some additional steps, but the process is the same and this is a good starter to start deploying on Fly.io. Thanks for watching and subscribe for weekly videos.